Um, now we're going to go to... Do you, remember, do you remember the beginning of the game, old doodly? Do you remember that part? Do I remember the what? The beginning of the game. The half? The ball? No, 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 no. The uh, the level, like like the, the orbiting space pirate frigate that we blew up. Yes. You don't remember that part of the game. I kind of do. Well, I hope you remember it well, because we're about to go there again, but it's crashed, and so now it's filled with water. Oh. We're just going to we're just going to paw through it and see if the dead space pirates inside left any cool stuff in their space genes. It's crashed and filled with water, just like your computer. <laughs> filled with water. Yeah, you got a liquid coolant system. I, uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> No, it was crashing <laughs> so I filled it with water. This was a cause and effect thing. Oh, there thing. you go. Awesome being roasted to death by those venom weeds. They taste delicious. Uh, lightly roasted morph ball actually is a delicacy on Space Pirate World. It's like a muscle ball, but with a lot more bombs. Mmm, <laughs> get a lot cut and a nice morph ball. <laughs> Hey, Marin, I'm glad you always come into the stream when we say the most awkward of things. That's my favorite part. Because <laughs> she's like, take it. Now take a little shower here. And that's the first thing she hears when she boots this up. Anyway, there's uh, some missiles down here. If I can get them, not jump over to the side like a moron. There we go. Don't ah. be a moron. Look, there's a fish that says, Hello, smart. and then you blow up his face. Because that's how dumb he sounds. Ugh. So, is, uh, give us... Stupid. So give us a random Metroid fact, doodler. You can make one up if you want. Me? Yeah, why not? Let's see what you know. Let's so, see you passed the, the reason... The reason... Yes. The reason Samus turns into a morph ball is because her fairy godmother put a curse on her. <laughs> You're going <laughs> to the ball, but you screwed it up. Oh, that's surprising. I just went totally the wrong way. That was really stupid. I'll use this cool and grapple beam. Kinda look, and it kind of looks like a pumpkin, so... Uh... So I grappled right off of a cliff into the water, and that was the worst thing that's ever happened in the history of things that happen. That's a lot of things that have happened. Tell me more, doodler! Look, that guy's God, ignoring me. me too! Oh, there he goes. That fish was ignoring me too, did you see that? It took a second to be like, Oh yeah, Samus is behind me. I guess I better open my weak spot so she can kill me. <laughs> Are you responding to Sir Watson chat? Yeah, I just did. You know what I've told you about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, Master. <laughs> Go to your room. Oh, I'll be better next time. <laughs> uh, no, you won't. But this part is actually cool. Like, um, I've praised Metroid. Oh, good, because we haven't we haven't gotten to a cool part. Yet. Um, I I praised Metroid Prime as music before, but. This is my, I think my second favorite music in the game is coming up here pretty quick. Not quite now, it's like um, all spooky at the moment, but it'll get cool in a second. Remember these tubes? Isn't this Better. taking you back to the three weeks ago? All those great memories of those guns that tried to shoot us. I should probably shoot those guns. Kill him. Anytime you use the ice beam is cool. Ha uh, ha, uh, anyway. Boo. Uh, so something uh, else that's uh, kind of cool, like in a game immersion way, is that a lot of these doors, the power's turned off since this is a crashed spaceship. So you have to turn the power back on with your wave beam. Ooh, hold on. Space crabs. Yeah. It's like demon attack. Hey, what is this? Demon attack. Ah. Die, space crabs. <laughs> Shoot the guns with a gun! 
They're gay married <laughs> Nazi spacecrafts from the moon. What? From beyond the moons. <laughs> anyway, the music that happens in here is really cool. It's like this nice little piano thing going on. It's kind yeah, of. It's, it's, uh, I have it's no like idea. I can't hear it, but uh, I assume. I know you can't hear it. But you just think of the, the most soothing piano music you've ever heard of. And imagine that I'm Wait. shooting a space pirate flying underwater with the most, like, Wait, soothing piano it, music it, it, goes, it goes like this. Girl in the tower. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was either going to be that or... Da, 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 da. <laughs> so you put in your thermal visor and it gives you all the little power sockets. You've got a socket. There should be four Socket. of them. Socket to them. There's the third. Everything's so beautiful and purple. It's like I'm looking into the Kool-Aid glass of God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm sitting alone in the middle of the ocean on a tiny island, surrounded by nothing but thousands of tiny seahorses. <laughs> what is that from? Was Only that just dynamite. a thing you just made up? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's that's thing one thing I... thing I say for Dynamite. Nice. That's one thing I've, um... This door should open, right? That's one thing I noticed from, um... I think I mentioned it last time, last time we streamed. Is some of the cool little graphical touches. Like, when there's a bright explosion right near Samus's visor, you can actually see the reflection of her face. Which is a little uncanny valley since this was 2002, but it's still a nice touch. I like it. Yeah. Did you see it? You want to see it? Not this time, I didn't. But I've seen it before. The only real reason, by the way, to come through this frigate, because if you've sequence broken like I had earlier, there's actually no reason to come into the frigate other than I think there are... Uh, two energy tanks and a missile pack. That's the only reason to really be here. Other than just to listen to the nice music. And have a little, uh, Samus respite. She admires her handiwork. Samus is a human, yes. She's a, she's, she, I mean, as much as you can have a human in this weird galaxy. She's not like a space pirate. <laughs> But she's not a Zebzian or a Crozo or a, a space pirate, gay Nazi space crab cowboy from beyond the moon. Did you say Crozo? What? What is Chozo That's now copyright? It's, it's, <laughs> she's a humorn. Ah, there was a <laughs> dead space Marin. pirate, and he just jumped. <laughs> There's a space pirate who just like fell into the water. Now he's like, ah, I can't swim. Why? Why? Why did my species not evolve gills? Oh crap! I'm an idiot. I forgot to do the first one. Oh crap! Now I gotta go no, all the way down. This... The only expletives. The only expletives we're allowed to use the are only Craid or Ridley, or sometimes Crad. The only expletives we can use are Craid and Ridley, and maybe Crad. <laughs> <laughs> Samus is not a Metroid. Why can't Metroid crawl? <laughs> I can use the expletive uh, fool's gold. I don't Bad know. Boy. That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Beef stew. Fool's gold. Hey, Eternal Cure. Uh, you've... So this, this little tunnel actually makes me think of Mario 64. Because you have to kind of climb these platforms oh, yeah. that are on this slant. And it makes me think of, uh, there's the, I think it was the, the, ah, boo bars. It's the, it's the underwater level. I am sucking at this, by the way. The underwater level where there's, like, the, the chests and, the, like, the clamshells, and you have to, like, fill it up with water and then get to the top before the water drains, and then you have to jump the rest of the way up, and it's, like, all slanty, and it looks kind of like this. That seems This stupid tentacle! Get out of my face! I hate that thing. You don't even know what it is. Yeah, but I still hate it. My, I just did a dumb. 
I Can't might I hate I might... a thing without knowing anything about it? No. Haven't we grown so, you so far in society that that's I can called, something That's called... That's with... called... That's called, uh, prejudice. prejudice. And you can go to... You can go to jail. <laughs> I mean, uh, get a fine? Oh wait, no. Neither of those things. You can be shunned by society. Yeah, it's the level with the big eel in it. You're, you're correct. Shunned or accepted by society, depending on which society. You, you, you can join the gay married Nazi space crabs or whatever. Okay. From beyond the moon! <laughs> okay, so that was, uh, painful. I might actually skip some of that. I'll decide later. Ah. Um... Sorry, I'm concentrating on shooting guns, so you've got to provide commentary again. So that's one of these, Samus. Like, nope. Am I right? Am I right, fellas? Oh, that's Samus. Am I right, fellas? I thought it sounded like it was going to turn into a song there, but then it didn't. Um, oh, that's Samus. Am I right? Am I right? Bing, da, da, ding, ba, da, ding, ba, da, ding, ba, da, ding, ba, da, 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 ding, da, ding, 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 ding. Sorry, I just do the banjo. I don't provide the lyrics. Uh, <laughs> Sir Watts provided lyrics to this banjo. Sir Watts has to leave soon. No, but, but before until he leaves, he, he will leave, be provide ah, lyrics hold to on. my banjo song. Before what? I didn't catch Before that. Before he leaves, he's got to provide lyrics to my banjo song. Um, your banjo song went ding dig a ding dig a ding dig a doong. I don't think that's uh, like it's much to base lyrics off of. There we that's go. That's because you're just not trying hard enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, Turtle Care. You you missed you missed our our uh, Ducktales impressions, which were suddenly happening. Anyway, this is the second thing in the frigate that you can get. This used to have probably like an ugly bug in it. You don't live in the Great Salt Lake. You can't get to the bottom of that lake, you float. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can't. I, I swallowed a bunch of rocks. <laughs> So it's we're like saying is the doodler is... when they is, that's how they went when they put the boots on to get to the bottom of the lake, you know. In the game. It's uh -huh. like me, I just swallow a oh. bunch of rocks. Like the iron boots. <laughs> so you're saying, saying So since yeah. everyone's saying that you live at the bottom of a lake suddenly, um, does that mean we're gonna find you in this uh, space frigate somewhere? Yeah, I'll be all We got the doodlers or whatever. We've got the, the doodler dead bodies. Calcified? Oh mum mummified. Yes, because people uh, who drown become word, mummies. Because <laughs> if there's one <laughs> thing you associate with mummies, it's water. <laughs> you know how all those mummies you, come you, out of the uh, their their pyramids and they're all like dripping wet and no, like, it's ah, it's the flooding. Only I had something I could no, dry me off with. It's <laughs> It's flooding up the Nile, and they drive themselves Skype off. Skype so insane. terrible, I didn't hear Everyone a word you just said. <laughs> it's from the Seriously, flooding of the Nile. Seriously, all I got out of that they was drive everyone themselves knows that. Off. It's from the flooding of the Nile, and everyone drives, knows they dry themselves off with sand. I'm so looking forward to the time in the future when I edit this and I can actually understand what you just said. Because I'm sure it was hilarious. It was funny. There's that guy. Look, that's the doodler! That's him! He just he just floated to the ceiling. Now you get to see yourself. I spit up those rocks. Those the, so this is the uh this is the this is the, the doodler's bedroom. He's got a nice uh, doodle bug there. Some nice fish. Doodle's hey, uh, bay. Whatever that thing is. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sir Watts. Nobody can understand the doodler today. Or ever. Or ever. See, this is why you need to get the money to actually come here and record. Oh crap, I missed it. There's an energy tank up there. Money's for responsible people. 
That's true. And since your since your job in life is to live in the bottom of a crashed space frigate, there's not a whole lot of uh, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of at the um, bottom of a great salt lake. Not a whole lot of promotion prospects down there, I'm afraid. <laughs> We're working on it. You can be in the great salt mines of or the great Phazon mines of the great Phazon Lake. Oops. That was not where I, the direction <laughs> I wanted to go. You've been employed by the space pirates. And and the air pirates. Anyway, we just did a loop. Now we're back where we got the x-ray visor, but I'm not going that way. Because, guys, it's time to do the phase on mines from front to back. Oh, uh -huh. do the phase on everyone. Do, 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 do. Phase on mine to do to do to do phase on mine to do to do to do phase. Do the phase on. <laughs> So, so if if our if our plasma beam is the Kool Aid beam, the cherry Kool Aid, then Phazon is like the blue raspberry taffy. Cause look at that, it looks delicious. Sounds delicious. Yeah, a little bit. If I shoot these guns from way over here, I don't have to shoot them from over there. Oops. Except the third one hit a box. So we're going to we're just going to go straight through these phase on mines the way the way that they were intended <laughs> the way the good way lord the intended, intended them to and by that I mean uh, Nintendo Yoshio Sakamoto He's the good lord Why are you lord? smiling with Um no he's he's more of a uh, he's more of a duke than a lord Yoshio ah. Sakamoto or what how do you say his name Yoshio! It's like Yoshi oh, with an goodness. O. It's Yoshio. Yoshi already has two O's in it. Yo Yoshi only has one O in it. I mean one O. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yoshio has two. You're right. Yoshi just has one. Learn to spell your Japanese and your English letters. I'm getting to it. <laughs> you guys, so the next power up I'm going to get is the, um, as soon as I kill these ninjas, is the flamethrower. Did you know that Metroid had a flamethrower in it? I know now. How cool do you think that is on a scale of 1 to 10? Real cool. That's not a scale of 1 to 10 number. Yeah, Unless you're doing... Well. So just, Unless you're so doing old real, <laughs> Unless you're doing algebra and real cool is your variable. Real cool is from if 1 to 10 cool on a strong bad scale. 7 plus awesome, then solve for awesome. What's what's by pi? So this is the point in the game when we're supposed to meet these guys. That's why there's now a cutscene. So this is where Ted is supposed to come in. He's like, oh, I'm going to lose my bonus if I don't attack you. Now he's coming after. Ooh. Oh, old Gil's got to get this. Uh... <laughs> Gil's got to get this one or he's going to lose his job. <laughs> no, old Gil's going to kill these pirates. I mean, going to kill Samus. Nope. Um, or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so, Marin, earlier in the stream, t there was there's one of these space pirates was glitching and like just not like he was just standing there not moving, and so we named him Ted. He was the space pirate that just uh, <laughs> he was um just pretending Samus wasn't there so he wouldn't get killed. So he's now become a thing. Anyway, this is Bendesium. That's how you spell it. Ben I pronounce it Bendesium, though. Yeah, I knew that was coming. But it's the power bomb blowy up uh, substance. Now, are you guys ready for the flamethrower? It is 
by far, are you ready for this? By far, the stupidest weapon in the game. You'd think it would be cool because it's yeah, a flamethrower. But, uh... No, well, not, I'm getting it for 100% completion's sake, but uh, honestly, there is no... What's that? Just like in zombie movies, it's not that practical. But honestly, I'm... I'm. It's... The, here's the problem with the flamethrower. So it's like... It's like the... How the super missiles work. Yeah, you use a shotgun. Um... It uses uh it uses missiles like a ton of missiles as it's firing. Um I'll show it off once I get to a place that's got enemies. But the problem is is it's it upgrades the plasma beam, but the plasma beam's already so powerful that upgrading it's kind of pointless. So it either kills things super fast, but it would be faster to use the plasma beam. Um and also it like takes a ton of missiles. It would be just be faster to use super missiles. So it's like super overkill to the point where it's not worth it. And that's my flamethrower sadness. Super useless. Whatever you just said, that is right. Here, I'll, sh I'll show it off in thermal mode. Okay, you couldn't see anything uh, because that was all purple. Ah! I'm sorry, Merritt, I don't know Ninjago. Or Ninjago. I don't even know how to say it. Talk to my nephews. I'm sorry, I failed you. Do they know it? Oh yeah, they're obsessed with Ninjago. You mean your nephews know something that's not Pokemon? They know tons of things. Okay. It's just other... No, I mean like pop culture-wise. Oh, of course. Uh, player in the Doodler. So you see this guy in this tube here? Player and Doodler. <laughs> see this guy in this tube? He looks real nice. It looks like he's uh, minty fresh. So Ninji let's, fresh? Let's let's let him out and see uh, see how nice he really is. He looks minty fresh. Look at him. He's like pet, he's like wintergreen. It's probably his name. Here, let's use a flamethrower on him. Let's see if let's see if this will. Yeah, flamethrower. You have to be like right next to him to do it too. Ah. See, that's used like half my missiles, and it didn't really do much of anything. Marin wants to get to know your nephews and talk to Ninjago. Well, talk in chat. They should be. They should be in chat also. That's true. Wide werewolf. Well, they're in the other chat though. Marin's in YouTube. Hey guys, pop over to you YouTube chat and talk to Marin. About Ninjago. That'll be... That'll be far more interesting than me fighting the minty green pirate. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, an, that's an elite pirate. He's a head of his pirate class. He got straight A's on all of his pirate... Uh, pirate SATs. They call them the, uh... He was top of his class of seven million. <laughs> Wait, what did that say? Recommended battle system for elite pirates as follows. Uh, a whole bunch of made up words. Okay. Oh, we got pirate data. Initial project helix experiment was... Yeah, our space pirate embryos were disastrous. The phase on infusion process degenerated brain tissue. Now they've got brain problems. Tissue. So it sounds like all the all the uh, all the the space pirates went crazy once they became elite. So they really are like grad students. <laughs> all of our elite pirates are insane. They're trying to get tenure. College will. They're trying to get tenure as, grad as students. I play video games. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I don't know how grad school works. I I play video games for a living, and by a living, I mean definitely not for my living. <laughs> Sir Watts, you're smart. Ah, Ted, what are you? Okay, this is. Here's the problem. He's trying to give you. Ted's trying to give you a TEDx talk. A TED talk. 
Yeah. Today I'm going to teach you how uh, to be or a bounty hunter uh, extraordinaire. Or a surgeon? Assertive! <laughs> oh. Is that all TED Talks are? They're just like, they're just like motivation. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Sorry, it completely just like froze for a second, but now it's back to normal. I think, uh... Speaking of freezing, you've been mostly unintelligible for like the past 15 minutes. So I think once we get to the next save point, we're gonna pause for a second so we can reconnect his Skype and maybe you won't sound like you're drowning on the bottom of a lake. I've been mostly unintelligent, How does that unintelligible sound? and unintelligent for the last 34 years. So this is no no <laughs> difference. This is this is business as usual. Yeah, space fire to grad students. That's right. Um, hold on. That had a security alert on it. I wanted to see what it said. What did it say? What did it say? It said this. Uh, security alert all stations. Samus has made planet fall. The hunter is among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack on sight. <laughs> so this was the order that Ted was ignoring. It's like, I, I, I don't see that. I'm just checking my email. He was preparing for his lecture. <laughs> His lecture: How to how how to, how to increase your lifespan by ignoring orders. <laughs> that sounds like a good TED talk. I'm downs, guys. I'm downs with it. Yeah, one shot. One shot on that. Oh, there's a second. There is two of them. Ah. Here's the, here's the problem. Remember earlier when I demonstrated that flamethrower and how terrible it was? Yes. Now I've got like no missiles left because I did that. I used to have like 165, now I have 13. That's less than 165. So, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, Marin just made up a language for you. Ooh. So we've got this, this cool uh, mining laser, which we can rotate with this thing. Problem is, space pirates can't turn into a ball, so I don't know how they rotate it. I know there's a space pirate somewhere down below, because I can hear him growling. No, that's just my stomach. <laughs> oh, you had too many space nuggets today, and your space pirate's stomach is growling. My space pirate happy meal. <laughs> Come get us your Space Pirate Happy Meal. Comes with a free, uh, free cup of Faison. Mmm. Raspberry. Order now and get your free toy of Kraid. Oh, Ridley! Hey guys, I'm a toy. <laughs> Ridley! No, everyone's always, everyone's out of, always out of the Ridley ones. They go quick. No, they're Ridley Nuggets! <laughs> <laughs> Ridley Nuggets sounds disgusting. <laughs> They're in the flavor of Ridley! <laughs> Alright, so I now- I made it myself! <laughs> if you know what I mean! I mean, I- <laughs> And, and dessert is like a little, um, uh, a Metroid cake. It's like Jello with, but like, it looks like a Metroid. Cause Metroids are basically just made of Jello anyway. So they just they just put like they just fed a Metroid like uh, lemon uh, powder, like a uh, artificial flavoring, and then froze it. And that's your dessert. You gotta eat it quick though, because if it thaws out, then it sucks your life force. And that sounds like a terrible deal on a meal. True, but it it keeps your kids quiet for a minute, so you should buy it. Anyway, let's go to level two of the Phazon Mines. If you can see through the elevator, that's the impact crater up there. So we're kind of mining in through the side of it. Get that sweet, sweet Phazon. Mmm, they love the sweet taste. <laughs> it's raspberry. We've been through this. Oh, right. Anyway, I've lost, what? Uh, I've only got always... four energy... They're always eating Phazon and Zeebsville. They love the sweet taste. 